Hey, you guys, it's me, Alex. And it's me, Carmen. Welcome to Winter is Taking Forever. It's our Game of Thrones recap show. Uh, winter continues to take forever this week. Okay. We open this week in the wintriest place there is, Castle Black. It turns out Jon Snow is alive like we all knew he would yeah. be alive. Welcome to a new segment called Narratively Necessary Nudity. Uh, it's not a new new segment because it's every week. Every week there's somebody naked who has a lot to bring us into on the plot. And this week we have some very lively side butt from the newly alive Jon Snow. Mm. They couldn't have even thought about him and just put a blanket over him. Like they, right. they knew he was gonna come to life. What a horrible way to wake up. Davos was. was so freaking weird about it. He's the one who organized this. And then he like yeah. comes back into the room and is like, Right, and he's like, how did this happen? So you worked on it for a long time. It's completely fucking mad. From the wilds of Castle Black, we go to an ugly boat. We've got Sam and Gilly at sea, but then Sam is dumping uh, the kid and the lady at his old house. Which, mm, like, mm, Sam. Don't worry, I'm sending you to the house that washes its hands of children. Like, I'm gonna be undecided at grad school. Why? Nah, what? Whatever. What? You can't be a Sam of all trades, or, uh, or a uh, maester of none, you know The what boat's I mean? making me ill. Stop uh, it, don't, you're not even uh, that sick. I think you're making yourself sick. Uh, this ugly boat is a great place for our first moment of child endangerment on the show. Uh, welcome to a new segment called This Week in Child Endangerment. A lot of the scenes in this week's episode are adults deciding whether a kid's gonna get, uh, you know, destroyed. Yeah. Uh, and this first one is, will this kid survive the boat ride in Sam's old house? Thank goodness Sam is feeling pretty icky when he has to make this decision. <laughs> Ooh, yep. he couldn't have done this before the boat. Sam and Gilly are fighting, and then they cut <laughs> back to the kids just rowing away. Like, nope, I'm out, done. This episode also features an exciting flashback. We get to hang out with Bran and uh, the three-eyed raven who is Max von Sydow. And then it was a fight. And then yeah. we heard a baby cry. You would think they would just end the flashback, and then Bran is there in front of the tree like, oh, so obviously that's that's Jon Snow's that's, the baby. Yeah, that's, that's, oh, oh, I heard the baby cry. So that means like, yeah. What? No, no, that, yeah. no there's another flashback for later. So now we get to see uh, Daenerys in her little um, widow's hut. <laughs> They're really mad at her for not coming straight there. Yeah. It's like like they know they it's like they know they were her safety school. They were just like a real side eye. Like they were very yes. like <laughs> like oh this bitch. Okay. You know she's going to be all like my dragons, my dragons. <laughs> a lot of passive aggressive firelighting. Like, oh, you are special, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I had big plans. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Then off we go to Marine. Uh, another child endangerment moment on the show. Varys threatens a lady kid. Yeah, and then he backtracks because he realized like, oh, I did kind of threaten her kid. And he's like, no, what I mean is I'm going to threaten you so that your kid's okay. Welcome to a segment that we could have done every week, Trust Fund Tyrion. Yeah. Uh, he has spent this entire season just being drunk, useless, and uh, playing with his dad's money. Hanging out with two people who have had horrible lives. Horrible lives. And he's like, why aren't you guys snappier? Back at King's Landing, where oh, we yeah. get to meet the birds, the birds we've never gotten the chance to meet before and come to our third child endangerment moment, which is just now the birds are being taken by somebody else who is just offering them candied plums and they're gonna do whatever he wants. The zombie is back. Uh, Gregor Clegane is uh, running around with Cersei and with Jaime and they walk in on a meeting where Pycelle is saying some very unhappy things. And, and then when he does notice them, you know, uh -huh. leaks, a little, leaks a little something. He farts. And now we get to see Arya again, the fourth yeah. child endangerment yeah. moment. I think, I think she's grown up a little bit, we can call it child endangerment, because yeah. she's been, she spent, Tyrion spent three episodes just drinking and being unhelpful. Arya has spent three episodes getting hit with a stick. But mm. she did it enough where he's like, here's, here's a drink. Yeah. Drink some creepy liquid that you don't know what it is. And she's like, it's probably gonna kill me though, right? Cause it did that to other people, right? And he's like, it's entirely possible. And she's like, great, I'm gonna drink the murder liquid now. Yeah. And then she does, and then she gets her sight back. She can also see that hair model dude now, who's the main, the main assassin. Yeah, so he's like, what do you think of my hair? Bravo, brava, bravos. Winter continues to take forever in Winterfell, the next place we go. Most of the scene is Ramsay arguing with a lord I think we've never met or I forgot about. And then yeah. he was like, I got a gift for you. For the Stark kids all being on the run and dead, there are a lot of living Stark there kids. There are. So now the worst character in the world has Rickon. He has Tonks from Harry Potter. Not Tonks. 
And uh, what's he going to do with them? You know, we've seen him feed people to dogs and torture people and rape people. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So maybe he just gives them a very nice room and nothing happens. Yeah. Yeah. And now we are back at Castle Black with our main man, John. You know what would really send this episode off on a, a really positive note? A quadruple hanging. Yeah. Everyone dies for killing Jon Snow. And even he is sick of this of every Night's Watch plotline we've ever seen and is like, I'm just finally leaving this. Here's my costume. I'm done. I'm so out. My watch is ended. So John is alive. He's going out into the world. He's done being at Castle Black. He's gonna meet a lady. What can we predict? What can we predict uh, about where this is going? He is going to change up his clothes. Nice. Uh, he's probably gonna meet Bastard 2.0. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Battle of the Bastards. Battle of the Bastards. Bastard Bowl. And then maybe he'll find some fam. Cousins Which now. Which fam does he have? Come back next week to find out. Don't, you you don't already know. You haven't, you haven't kind of figured okay, it out. Okay, but we kind of have. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe. And also, please comment below. So that you, you know, about like what maybe, what, what Tyrion's up to. Yeah, what's uh, Trust Fun Tyrion? Trust Fun Tyrion. What's Hashtag his, Trust Fun Tyrion. What's his frat nickname? Yeah, what's uh, what, what's the what's the next drinking game he's gonna try to plan? Uh, what theme party is he gonna throw? Dragons. <laughs>